Associative sketch is an experimental feature in BricsCAD V22 and it can be used to increase the productivity in 3D modeling. Whenever you execute a 3D modeling command such as extrude, revolve, etc. on a sketch, the sketch will get consumed by that operation. For example, I'll create a rectangle on the screen. I'll pick the first corner here. When I'm asked to give the opposite corner, I'll give at the rate 12,6. Now I'll change my view to top front left view. Then I'll give an extrude command. I'll select the sketch, give enter. Now I'll give a height of extrusion of 5 units. I'll change the visual style to shaded with edges. Now when you hide the extruded object, you can see that the sketch got consumed when you have extruded it. Now let's repeat the extrusion after activating the associative sketch feature. I'll undo extrusion. Then I'll click on settings on the toolbar on top. In the search box, I'll type sketch. Here you can see sketch based feature experimental within brackets. And when this feature is active, the software creates sketch based features. Repeat the extrude command. Select the sketch, give an enter and give the same value for the height of extrusion. Change the visual style to shaded with edges. Now I'll activate the mechanical browser. For that, right click at the ribbon and click on panels and activate mechanical browser. Mechanical browser panel is a central location to view and modify parametric properties of entities. Here you can see the extrude command you have done and the sketch which is extruded. Now I'll right click on the sketch and I'll click on edit sketch option. Now let's do some change on the sketch. I'll create a circle over here with the radius of 1.5 units. Then I'll perform trim on this to remove unwanted portions. Now I'll click on save block option because you are in the block editor interface. Now you can see that the changes performed on the sketch is reflected on the extrusion. We can also assign parametric constraints on the sketch. I'll select the sketch, right click edit sketch, then I'll click on parametric tab, then I'll click on linear constraint, pick these two endpoints, locate the dimension here and give an enter. Now I'll right click and click on animate only that corner is moving. Now I'll assign 2D geometric constraints on these two lines. I'll click on perpendicular constraint and select these two lines. Again click on perpendicular and constrain these two lines. Now right click and animate. Because of the perpendicular constraints, these lines will remain perpendicular. Next I'll click on the block editor, save block. You can see the linear constraint here. I'll right click and I'll click on link to parameters. Now you can see this constraint under parameters. I'll right click here and animate. You can see that the linear constraint assigned on the sketch is updated on the extruded object. Hence associative sketch feature gives a lot of flexibility in 3D modeling. Now let's see the application of this feature with a typical example. This is a 3D model of a family house. Over here, there are cutouts to insert windows. So I'll create a window frame using a polyline. I'll start with the polyline command. I'll pick the endpoints. Now I'll offset this polyline using the offset tool. I'll give an offset distance of 15 units. Next, I'll extrude these two sketches using the extrude command. I'll give a height of extrusion of 5 units. Next, I'll subtract the inner entity from the outer entity. I'll click on subtract command and I'll select the outer entity. I'll give enter, then I'll select the inner entity, then give enter. Now, this is a window frame. Next, I'll copy the window frame 
onto other locations. I'll choose this point as the base point. Then I'll click the second point here, here, as well as to this location. The mechanical browser shows the extrusions and the sketches. If I click on the sketch 2, that particular sketch will be highlighted in the model. I click on the extrusion 2 that is highlighted. I'll click on sketch 3, then right click and I'll click on edit sketch. That sketch is shown here. Now I'll offset this particular sketch through a distance of 10 units outward. I'll give an enter, then I'll erase the inner sketch. Now I'll click on save block to save the changes. Now you can see that these changes are instantly updated in the 3D model and you have got a thinner frame. I have actually changed the inner sketch and that change is shown in the 3D model as well as on rest of the models because these sketches are instances of the original sketch and hence the change is reflected everywhere. From this it's clear that associative sketch feature will let you save a lot of time and effort. This concludes the tutorial on the associative sketch which is a new feature in BricsCAD V22.